Hello all. In this video, we will discuss AVL trees, LR rotation and RL rotations. So consider the example to create an AVL tree for, this, for the following set of data. So the, as per AVL tree property, the first data is made as a root node. So I create a node for the first data. It is made as a parent node. So once a node is created, I have to calculate the balance factor of this node. So balance factor is height of left minus height of right. So it is zero. So the tree is balanced. Now I wanted to insert the next data once the tree is made balanced. Now 9 is compared with the root node. It is less than root. So it is inserted to the left side of 63. Now calculate the balance factor of all the nodes in the tree. So the balance factor of 63 is 1 minus 0. So it is 1. The balance factor of 9 is 0 since it is a leaf node. So the tree now is balanced. Now I wanted to insert the next data 19. So 19 is less than 63 move left side less greater than 9 so move right side. So it is inserted to the right side of 9. Now calculate the balance factor of all the nodes in the tree. So balance factor of 63 is 2 minus 0. Height of left sub tree is 1 2. So 2 minus 0 it is 2. For 9 it is 0 minus 1 so it is minus 1 and for 19 it is 0. Now the tree is unbalanced. Why? Because any one of the node in the AVL tree uh, is not satisfying the condition of AVL tree property. That is balance factor is not equal to 0, 1 or minus 1. So the tree is made unbalanced. Now I want to perform any one type of rotation and make the tree balanced. So what type of rotation is to be performed is based on the pivot node and the position of newly inserted data. So 63 is the pivot node here. This is the one which is nearest to the newly inserted data whose balance factor is not equal to 0, 1 or minus 1. So from the pivot node, 19 is in which direction? So the node which is coming immediately to the pivot node, which comes immediately next to the pivot node, we call it as a child node. And whatever comes next is a subtree. So 9 is a left child and 19 is in right subtree. So left child, right subtree. So we perform LR rotation. So LR comes under double rotation. In case of double rotation, first the child should be rotated and then the pivot node should be rotated. So it is LR rotation means the same direction. So L represents left and R represents right. So the child should be rotated left side and pivot should be rotated right side. So this is how we perform the double rotation. So first I have to rotate the child node and from that intermediate result I will have to rotate the pivot node. So the first rotation is child to be rotated left side. So this is the child node. This is the ch child node. It should be rotated left side one step down. So the tree intermediate tree will be 9 is rotated. This is rotated one step down to the left side. So 9 becomes the left child of 19. And after inserting, uh, after rotating the 9 to the left side, that is child is rotated left side. Now the pivot should be rotated right side. So this is the pivot node and it should be rotated right side one step down. So pivot becomes the right child of 19. So the intermediate stages will be like 9 is rotated to the left side. So 63 will remain here. This is the first step after performing L rotation. And then on performing R rotation, the pivot is rotated right side. So the tree becomes like this. The tree becomes like this. I have done this in single step and this is the intermediate steps. This is the first step after performing L rotation. And this is the final step after performing R rotation. So here in case of double rotation, the child is rotated left side one step down. And after rotating this, the pivot node is rotated to the right side one step down. So the tree is like this after performing L R rotation. Now check the balance factor of 19. It is 1 minus 1. So it is 0. Here it is 0, 0. So the tree is made balanced. Now I insert the next data 27. So 27 is greater than 19 move right side it is less than 63 so 27 is inserted here. Now check the balance factor of 19 it is 1 minus 2 minus 1 
here it is 0, 1 minus 0, 1 and here it is 0. So the tree is already balanced. Now I wanted to insert the next data 18. So So 18 is less than 19 more left side and greater than 9. So 18 is inserted to the right side of 9. Now calculate the balance factor of 19. It is 2 minus 2, 0. And here it is 0 minus 1, minus 1. For 18 it is 0. 1 minus 0, 1. Here it is 0. So the tree is balanced. So now I insert the next data 18. So 18 is less than 19 more left side, greater than 9 move right side so 18 is inserted here and the tree is already balanced the next data to be inserted is 108 so 108 is greater than 19 move right side greater than 63 so it is inserted to the right side of 63 now check the balance factor 2 minus 2 it is 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 here it is 0 1 minus 1 0 0 0 so the tree is balanced now I insert the next data 120. So 120 is greater than 19 move right side, greater than 63 move right side, greater than 108. So it is inserted to the right side of 108. Now check the balance factor of all the nodes. For 19 it is 2 minus 3 it is minus 1 for 9 it is 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 for 63 it is 1 minus 2 minus 1 for 27 0 for 108 it is 0 minus 1 minus 1 and for 120 it is 0 so the tree is already balanced now insert the next data 115 so 115 So 115 is greater than 19 move right side, greater than 63 move right side, greater than 108 move right side and less than 120. So it is inserted to the left of 120. Now calculate the balance factor of all the nodes in the tree. Balance factor of 19 is 2 minus the longest path is 4. So here the path is 2 as well as 4 among which the longest path is 1, 2, 3, 4. So the longest path is 4. So 2 minus 4, it is minus 2 here. Here it is minus 1, 0. And for 63, 1 minus 3, it is minus 2, 0. For 108, it is 0 minus 2, it is minus 2. 120, 1 minus 0, 1 and 0. So the tree is unbalanced and I wanted to perform one type of rotation and it is based on the pivot node. So the pivot node is the node nearest to the newly inserted node. So, 115 is a newly inserted node after which the entire tree is unbalanced and the node nearest to 115 whose balance factor is not equal to 0, 1 or minus 1. It is 108. So, this is chosen as the pivot node. Now, the node immediately following the pivot node we call it as a child node and whatever comes next is a subtree. So, this child is, it is right child and 115 is, in, is present in left subtree. So right child left subtree we perform RL rotation. So always the child should be rotated first and then the pivot node. So child is rotated right side and then the pivot is rotated to the left side. The rotation to be performed here is right child left subtree. So the rotation to be performed is RL rotation. So the child should be rotated first to the right side and then pivot is rotated to the left side. So, I will rotate the child to the right side first. So, child is rotated one step down right side. So, it becomes 120 becomes the right child of 115. So, the partial tree will be So this is the partial tree after I perform only R rotation. So the child is rotated to the right side. It becomes the right child of 
115 then when i perform the l rotation the second half second half is rotating the pivot to the left side so this is the pivot node and this should be rotated left side one step down so the tree becomes So pivot is rotated left side one step down. So it becomes the left child of 115. So the remaining nodes are there is no change in the remaining nodes. So this is where the rotation is performed. This is where the rotation is performed based on the position of pivot node and the newly inserted node. So this is where the rotation is performed. So here the child node is rotated first to the right side. So 120 is the child node. It is rotated one step down in the right side direction. So it becomes a right child of 115. And then from the intermediate result, the pivot node is rotated to the left side one step down. So 108 is the pivot node. It is rotated left side one step down. So it becomes a left child of 115. So this is where we focus only from the pivot node till the newly inserted node. So the remaining part remains the same. So now check the balance factor of all the nodes in the tree. Uh, the balance factor of 19 is 2 minus the longest path here is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So 3 is the longest path. So 2 minus 3, it is minus 1. 0 minus 1, minus 1, 0. For 63, it is 1 minus 2, minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1, 0, 0, 0. So the tree is made balanced after performing RL rotation. So we had seen four types of rotations, LL rotation. So in case of LL rotation, we will have to rotate the pivot node in the opposite direction, that is the right side. So if it is L, L, left, left, in this case, the pivot node is rotated to the right side. The same way R, R, that is right, right rotation in the sense, the pivot node is rotated to the left side. So these two cases comes under single rotation. That is, the only the pivot node is rotated only once based on the direction. If it is L, L, the pivot is rotated right side. If it is R, R, the pivot is rotated to the left side. So the other scenario is L, R and R, L rotation which comes under double rotation. So in this case, we will have to perform rotation twice. So for the first one to be rotated is child node. So if it is L, R, the child is rotated to the left side and then the pivot is rotated to the right side. In case of R, L, the child is rotated to the right side and then pivot is rotated to the left side. So in case of double rotation, the rotation is performed twice, always the child first and then the pivot. In case of single rotation, only the pivot node is rotated based on this direction. Thank you.